In martial arts, it is not the number of teachers that matters, but the quality of instruction and depth of understanding. A true master sees the essence, not the multitude of forms. When someone claims to have trained under 5 or 15 martial arts masters, it can be impressive but may also cause confusion and distrust among those who truly understand what learning martial arts entails. Such a statement often reflects a lack of respect and a superficial approach to the practice. Let's examine why this is so. Training under a large number of masters usually implies that the individual has not spent enough time with each one to deeply grasp their methods and philosophy. In martial arts, it is important not just to acquire a set of movements, but to reinforce them through prolonged practice. Superficial knowledge of many styles and techniques does not allow for true mastery in any of them. Genuine progress requires years of practice under the guidance of one or two instructors to fully absorb their teachings. Each martial art has its own philosophy and internal aspects that require time to understand and integrate into one's life. Constantly changing teachers makes it impossible to deeply comprehend and assimilate these aspects. The philosophy of martial arts is not just beautiful sayings but life principles and strategies that are woven into the fabric of the art and its practice. In martial arts, loyalty to one's master and style is highly valued. Rapid switching between masters demonstrates a lack of loyalty and respect for the traditions and heritage of the art. Each master teaches in their own way, and attempting to combine different methods without sufficient time for adaptation can lead to confusion and slow progress. Learning requires time to master both basic and advanced techniques within a single system. Training under many masters can result in the student being unable to show significant progress or a deep understanding of any particular style. Martial arts masters often recognize their students based on their loyalty and progress. Switching between numerous teachers can lead to none of them considering the student their true disciple. Possessing physical strength does not make one a martial arts master. There are many physically strong people in the world, but this does not necessarily make them skilled fighters or martial arts masters. Martial arts masters are not just strong people. They are those who understand the philosophy, principles, and subtleties of their art. There are many strong people fewer smart people, and even fewer wise people. Wisdom comes through deep understanding and practice. Claims of having trained under many martial arts masters often reflect a superficial approach and lack of respect for the traditions and depth of these arts. True progress and mastery require time, dedication, and deep understanding under the guidance of one or two instructors. This is not just about learning techniques, but also an internal journey that cannot be completed by constantly changing teachers. Without understanding and integrating the philosophy of martial arts into one's life, learning will remain superficial and insufficiently effective.